So now we're going to get into John F. Kennedy, your 35th president. Why was he shot? Um, my, my opinion on it, there's many levels to it. I could write a book on it. You got to remember all these videos can be thick books where you just get facts and facts and research and all type of reference points. I'm not here to do that. I'm in the process of visually showing you something about sovereignty with my book and I'm using many examples. That's what I'm doing here. And it looks very ugly to a lot of people and it's not cute. There's going to be many highlights, but this is definitely a, a film slash book through YouTube. And I appreciate YouTube for allowing this to be posted because it's very controversial. A lot of stuff that I'm talking about is like, sounds like I'm either making it up to people or they think that I'm controlled by the boule, all type of stuff. But I'm just a guy that travels here and there and uh, looks for opportunities in spirituality, just say that. But uh, John F. Kennedy, I want to just point this one part out. I might do a couple videos today if I can get some charge, kind of struggling financially. Um, you know, as, as we try to make these videos, you know, it's independent, so totally self-funded on the street. But uh, I just want to point this out. John F. Kennedy um, was shot because he felt as though he found a way to beat the league. We went through this in history many times. And, um, of course, you know, when he was president, many people say he balanced the budget. There was no debt. They say Bill Clinton did the same thing, but not like John F. Kennedy because he had gold backing what he was doing. However, he was still shot because of the fact that he dropped out of gaming for my research and shows he felt like he had an independent way to live in society without having to participate. We were talking about this before with the rubber people versus the copper people. Same example, except now we're going to see your president. And I have a video I just did two days ago about that. But he felt like he found a way to break out of the matrix and break the code, which he lived independently for a while. You know, this government was independent of units for a while. But eventually, when Nixon came in, it was defunded and it was put on a system of what's called fiat notes. And I'm saying this for a reason, because you have to participate your views alone is not going to get you to this level that I'm speaking on. You have to monetize. Money alone won't get you to where I'm talking about. They're fiat notes now. 1974, somewhere around there, they officially went all the way into fiat notes. And this is something we talk about privately at 13 Sides Astrology. These are fiat notes. I'm going to do a video with um, reference points from Walter Byrd, which is one of the founders of the 13 Sides System. He goes into it even more deep when you study his, his doctrine about the annuity when the ones drop and how this represents the annuity of fiat notes trying to push the economy to go back on the gold standard. But the problem with that is that now we have these annuities that have to be paid off. Every time an annuity drops, this is a this is a sale. If it's not paid, the owner of the annuity takes control of the commodity. And it's eventually traded on. So John F. Kennedy felt like he found a way. And of course, the elites, I'm not saying they were right. I'm not saying they were, it's not about right or wrong, but they visa him, put him in a situation of debt to eventually put the country back on fiat notes. And he thought he got out of it, but he stopped participating. That's why it's important. You, you have to finance your view. When you get into sovereignty thing, you can't stop. If you stop, they will come and kill you. They, they, they declare war on sovereigns. And once they figure you're broke, they move in on your takeover. Study it. Stay vigilant. Namaste.